Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Adni Naim bin Junaidi. So today I want to talk about LED based spectroscopy. For the table of contents, uh, in first introduction, second methodology, third result and discussion, for uh, conclusion and file reference. Okay, uh, for introduction. Introduction. Plant need a lot of the micronutrient, nitrogen, and phosphorus P and potassium K in the spot in the soil. Agriculture need NPK and the most common fertilizer in is NPK. Over using fertilizer makes surface and ground water dirty and lower the quality of crops. NPK amount depend on the type of plant and how fast it's growing. So the amount of the fertilizer must be must be based on how much is fill need to get the best result. Because they limit the number of samples that can be taken from each field, making it hard to figure out how much each nutrient is in the soil. Kukani 2014 said that the best way to measure the micronutrient in the soil are optical and electrochemical. Spectroscopy is fast, cheap, and non destructive. It is widely used in optical method to detect the nutrient content in soil without the need of chemicals such as laser in that breakdown, spectroscopy, IBS, and near infrared and IR spectroscopy. Spectroscopy can identify components by wavelengths based on absorption or reflection. LIBS provide real time analysis, easy sample preparation, and small sample size. However, soil heterogeneity and metric impact make it challenging to analyze. To overcome the LIBS technique limitation, LED and color region has been implemented because its technique is less expensive and more and low power consumption. So this methodology. Figure to, figure to show how organic cell was test for water production. The experiment has a light cell sample and spectrometer. The first experiment used uh, 210 to 1 1200 nm deuterium halogen lamp DH sample will lead to a uh, uh, curator. The data was sent to the ocean optic spectrometer, which has 200 to 1100 nm range and 0.65 nm spectral resolution. Ocean wave connected the spectrometer to the computer. Ocean optic create ocean wave to collect real time spectrometer data. An optional alternator dimmed the light source. In this experiment, the optical alternator control power loss. Another experiment measures short micronutrient absorption with a 470 nm blue LED instead of a DH lamp. Uh, for the result and discussion. Result and discussion. With the help of a stretch, the color as developed session gives N a light red color, P a medium blue color, and K a white color according to the color chart. And has low concentration as a median concentration and has a high concentration. A spectrometer was used to the more test. Ramana 2015, 2014, Sing and Benton experiment has reported on NPKRI table 1. The color development was measured for nutritional iron region, color region, and color chart. This yield this result. Ramana uh, Sing. I agreed on NPK concentration, however, only K accord with experiment. According to Benton, 2012, healthy plant require N and low P and median K. The experiment yield very concentration may only factor may affect outcome. Figure 3 show a plot graph of the level of absorption of organic cell. The range of wavelengths will be chosen from 400 nm to 1200 nm. We won't look at the wavelength at uh, a less than 400 nm. From the graph, we can see that both N and P have absorption peak at 970 nm. Also, as N has high absorption around 450 nm, and P has peak absorption around 800 nm. Also, the wavelength at which K has the higher absorption peak at 820 nm. The way to show the wavelength of NPK for the experiment and support by another research for the visible light range. Based on the result, the burn agree with Yokota 2007 and Hussein 2007 for P, but not for N and K. This could be because of mistake in setting up the calibration, a difference in chemical agent or the type of soil. Next, we move to conclusion.
Jadi conclusi ni paper tak dapat the preliminary experimental analysis that was done using a simple spectrometer to measure how well nutrients are absorbed by the soil. The extract solution turned out to different color of each nutrient, and the intensity of the color depend on how much each nutrient in it is. Based on the color chart, the soil sample has low amount of N and a medium amount of P, and a high amount of K using the spectrometer. The absorbent wavelengths for N are 450 nm and 970 nm. For the P, are 100 nm and 970 nm. For the K, there is only 170 nm. For P, it's wavelength with length, with length, and Hussein, but for N and K, they don't because the soil is different or the chemical agent is different. Do LED were used in other experiments? After 10 minutes of daily lighting, the level of NPK absorbent are stable. For such spectroscopy, the spectrometer will be replaced in the future by a visible and near infrared LED and photo detector to reach the main goal of the research, which is uh, uh, to make a LED based source spectroscopy easy and cheap. This will uh, help the, in the future the sensing system will be done with the right uh, LED for each nutrient. And for reference, uh, yes, for reference, for uncovering research, photography, prevention, and uh, passive development application laser induced breakdown spectroscopy in agriculture. I think that all for me. Uh, thank you.